What is precision or personalized medicine? Although therapies are efficient in treating diseases, some of the treatments can be more efficient in some patients, while for others, the response is mitigated. Precision medicine or personalized medicine is an innovative therapeutic approach that focuses on tailoring therapies based on the patient's genetic content or other molecular or cellular analysis. To inform and ensure the specificity of the therapy for the patient, diagnostic molecular profiling of the patient at the genomic, proteomic, epigenomic, and metabolic levels is required. What is molecular profiling for precision medicine? Pathological differences between each patient can be assessed using omics technologies that investigate and provide data on the genome, transcriptome, epigenome, proteome, and metabolome of the patient. These approaches allow a specific targeting of the disease to obtain maximum efficiency in treating the patient. 1. Genome and Transcriptome Analysis Genome and transcriptome technologies such as DNA and RNA sequencing and gene expression analysis will inform on any potential alterations in genes, example, mutations or amplifications, or their RNA expression levels in the patient. The most known technological platform that is used for these purposes is next-generation sequencing, NGS. 2. Epigenome Analysis The epigenome is associated with environmental and behavioral factors that affect the expression and activity of genes, independently of alterations in DNA sequences. These modifications can be transmitted to daughter cells and are influenced by several factors, including age, the environment, lifestyles, and disease states. Daughter cells are the result of cell division, which is the process by which a single cell gives rise to two daughter cells. This can happen through mitosis, in which the DNA is replicated and the two new cells are genetically identical to the original, or through meiosis, in which the DNA is replicated and then recombined to create new genetic combinations in the daughter cells. The environmental and behavioral factors can modify DNA through mechanisms involving cytosine methylation and hydroxymethylation or via modifications of histones that regulate the level of DNA availability for transcriptional events. They can also promote or prevent the translation of proteins that are involved in the different physiological and pathological processes through mechanisms involving other types of RNAs and non-coding RNAs, NCRNAs, such microRNAs, small interfering RNA, Pee-wee interacting RNA, circular RNAs, and long non-coding RNA, LNC RNAs. To analyze the epigenome, technologies that are used in the lab include chromatin immunoprecipitation sequencing for histone modification analysis and identification of transcription factor binding sites, assay for transposase accessible chromatin using sequencing, and HICE for chromatin structure analysis. Additionally, next-generation sequencing, NGS, is also used for non-coding RNAs. 3. Proteome Analysis The proteome is the entirety of proteins expressed by a particular genome. It can be thought of as the protein expression profile of a cell or organism. The proteome analysis provides information on the overall level of protein composition, structure, and activity in the patient. It is performed by proteomics. A protein is a molecule composed of amino acids. Proteins play many important roles in the body, such as providing structure and support to cells, transporting substances throughout the body, and helping to regulate chemical reactions. Proteomics use technologies such as mass spectrometry, which identify proteins based on their mass to charge ratio. Mass spectrometry is also used to determine the levels of expression and modifications of proteins, example enzymatic phosphorylation, that regulate their activity and degradation. 4. Metabolites Analysis Metabolites are small molecules that act as intermediates or end products of cellular metabolism or derive from various other external sources such as diet, microbes, or xenobiotic sources. To measure and compare large numbers of metabolites present in the biological samples of the patient, analytic profiling techniques known as metabolomics are used. Metabolites are quantified using a combination of liquid or gas chromatography and mass spectrometry and or nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometry. The last stage of analysis in precision medicine involves bioinformatics data analysis. Although complete profiling of the genome, transcriptome, epigenome, proteome, and metabolome of the patient is obtained, 
a large amount of data is also generated. Therefore, these data requires analysis using bioinformatics approaches. Bioinformatics rely on computational models that are algorithms-based to interrogate, identify, and score pathways with differential activity in genes, proteins, or metabolites. For instance, artificial neural networks, known as ANN, are computing systems that were inspired by the brain's biological neural networks. They are used to analyze large amounts of data and detect patterns in the data generated through the patient molecular profiling using omics technologies. The results of these analyses can inform on the type of treatment that will be specific for the patient and predict the outcome of the therapy. What are the disadvantages of precision medicine? Precision medicine has a few potential disadvantages. First, it could lead to increased healthcare costs if only those who can afford the tests and treatments receive them. Second, there is the potential for misuse or misinterpretation of data, which could lead to incorrect diagnoses or treatment plans. Third, precision medicine could exacerbate health disparities if only wealthy patients can afford the newest and most expensive treatments. Finally, there is always the possibility that new treatments will be found to be unsafe or ineffective. In conclusion, although precision medicine is an extremely efficient approach to precisely inform the treatment that a patient should receive to ensure maximum therapeutic success, the cost of using molecular profiling to generate data may not be accessible to everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.